Hi, I'm Maggie Hudson, and this is PhotographyHacker.com. Thanks for joining me today. I wanted to talk to you about custom white balance. This was something that I was a couple years into shooting professionally. I honestly had no idea that you could customize your white balance shot by shot. Just like you would, ex you do your exposure, your shutter speed, your aperture. This is just one more thing that you can nail when you're nail it you know right when you're taking the photo and then when you get to your editing process later it's just one less thing you have to think about save so much time especially for those of you that shoot a lot of photos if you're doing events weddings portraits anything that you know you take a ton of shots and you need to keep them all it just saves so much editing time in the long run so make sure before you dive into this that you even have a kelvin kelvin setting in your camera um, not not all cameras do. So I shoot with a Nikon D700 and when I go into my white balance menu, you'll find there's an auto setting, indoor fluorescent lighting, sunshine, flash shade, and at the very end there's a little K. It's almost the end. It's the second to last one. That's Kelvin's. And then I can use my, my, my additional scrolling option to choose a number inside of the Kelvin's. So just like temperature, Kelvin numbers apply to the warmth and coolness in a photo. So the lower that the Kelvin number is, the more cool blue green the, the photo will be. And the higher you raise it, the more warm, hot it's, the photo is going to be. So more oranges, yellows, the, the higher the number gets. Now, you might be thinking, this is one less thing I need to do. I don't need to sit there and think about, you know, manually adjusting my my white balance as I'm shooting, but you'll be really surprised once you start doing it, you actually stay within about 4,500 to 6,000. I rarely go outside of those. There are some extreme cases where if you're indoor and the lighting's really low and it's very yellow or orange, you're really going to want to lower the Kelvins a lot and it'll drastically bring back in natural skin tones. It'll bring in whites. So, you know, those times when you're inside and say you're photographing inside of a dark church at night and lit by candle and it's just going to be so orange and yellow and most of the time you'll look through the photos and just say I have to change them to black and white but there's no salvageable color in it but if you play around with Kelvin's you can go ahead and adjust those and save a lot of the the tones the skin tones and the whites um, they won't be totally orange another um, great time that I like to warm up Kelvin's would be in the shade outside when the sun's like down in the sky and it's just kind of like a bluey shady color all around outside especially if you're doing portraits of people you'll notice that their skin kind of looks bluish gray if you just go in and warm up the kelvins a little go into the six thousands maybe into the seven thousands you're going to notice natural skin tone just coming right back into the photo now as you're doing this there is a big difference between jpeg and raw shooters just like in with raw and exposure, if you nail the exposure the first time, it's going to save you so much time later on. You won't have to go in and save the highlights or bring out the shadows if you nail the exposure. Same thing with Kelvin's. It's not going to totally, you know, be a giant, you, this is what you have to work with and you can't adjust the colors anymore. But it's so nice to just nail the color the first time before you ever have to import it onto your computer and edit it because you open it up, the skin tones look great, the the background, whatever you're shooting is going to look, the colors are going to be spot on. And then you can have more fun playing with, with other elements of your editing. Um, if you're shooting JPEG, because that gets compressed, it's going to be very drastic. So make sure when you start playing with Kelvin's, kind of try to stay in the five to 6,000 range. And, you know, because if you set it too high or too low, you're going to notice a huge difference in the color and it's going to be harder to edit it in the long run. But once I found out about Kelvin's a couple years ago, I have not gone back. I love shooting with Kelvin's. It's such a cool way to just nail your exposure, nail your colors, get it just right the first time. So go have fun with it. Play around.